want to start with you. Who's protected under this quote unquote hate crimes bill and what comes next? Well, Donna, that's a great question. Now, the deal with this bill is, is that it passed out of the Senate Judiciary Committee earlier tonight at Senate Bill 622. The term hate crimes doesn't actually appear anywhere in the language of the bill, but this is the closest that Arkansas is going to get to passing this type of legislation for this session. Now, what it actually does is it delays the release of offenders who were found to have targeted their victims based on certain characteristics. Now, some people say that the bill is too general, while others say it just isn't necessary. Senate Bill 622 has passed its first hurdle. The measure is the latest go at creating a hate crimes bill, but many aren't so sure it can even be called that. But I think it's important. Is this is this going to be considered a hate crimes bill? It's going to be for those uh, for those individuals or those businesses to decide. Senator Jim Hendren tried to give the bill a boost, forwarding an amendment that would specifically list traditional victims of hate crimes. This puts it in in the code in black and white. What we've already said our intention is. He said the bill was too vague, with the main question of the night being who exactly was protected. Is there any group or individual that would not be covered under this bill? Not, not that I can think of. According to the bill, it's anyone from an identifiable group that shares certain characteristics. It's the inclusivity of the bill that got Senator Bob Ballinger's vote. I always knew there was a way, a method to, to accomplish this and, and hope that we could do something that was Absolutely inclusive. But not everyone was in support. Jerry Cox with Family Council worried prosecutors would use the bill to hold everything someone said against them. If you have a very, very zealous prosecutor, how far does all that go? While Randy Zook with the State Chamber of Commerce countered that hate crimes legislation was key to attracting business. People turn down a job because of what they learn about the legal climate in Arkansas, specifically regarding this issue. After an hour of discussion, the bill got the okay, a majority vote that sends the bill one step closer to the governor's desk. And the governor has previously said that he wants to pass a hate crime bill in the state of Arkansas. He's made it a priority and has previously said that he will support this latest measure. The bill now goes to the full Senate. Reporting at the Capitol, I'm Katrin Asaf. Dono.